Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and today I'm excited to bring to you my very first collab. But first I want to tell you a little bit about my process and then I'll talk about the collab. I started laying out some ideas in my sketchbook along with some notes and some watercolor test. Then I took a picture of the sketch I liked best, which is on the left. I then uploaded that picture into Photoshop. I made it larger and added some fruit details. Then I printed it out and used my light pad to trace it onto watercolor paper. Once that was completed, I used my kneaded eraser to make the lines as light as possible and started painting. Now I did this collab with the sweet and funny Emma Butcher. I highly recommend you check out her channel. She did this awesome nine part style swap challenge. Anyways, for our collab, we decided on swapping our native animals for each other to paint. I sent her a list of common animals in New York and she sent me a list from Australia, which I love her accent by the way. So I know what animal she picked, but I haven't seen her video or her finished piece yet until she uploads it. I will put a link directly to her video in the description for you guys to go see and I'm so excited to check it out myself. I didn't want to choose a typical animal like a kangaroo or koala bear. I wanted to do something different and interesting, so I chose the flying fox, which is a type of bat. Compared to bats in the US, the flying foxes are very large with wingspans around three feet. They only eat fruit, flowers, and nectar. They actually do not echolocate. Instead, they have very large eyes to see. The one I am painting in particular has red-brown fur that resembles a fox, but they can have different colored fur. The fruit that I have included that my flying fox is eating is called Lily Pilly. It reminds me of grapes, but I believe is they are smaller and grow on trees in Australia. The main technique I used is wet and wet meaning I covered an area with water before laying in the paint so that it blended smoothly. The fur was a bit of a challenge to get the right look, but I think it turned out all right. I also wanted to mention that if you are watching this and you have an art channel and would be interested in doing a collab, please let me know in the comments below or send me a private message. I can't wait to do more collabs. So 
So if you're new here, welcome, and I hope you stick around to subscribe. Otherwise, it's good to have you back. Now let's take a look at the finished piece. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one.